Hello and welcome to the Caring Matters Podcast. I'm Liz Tassone, the volunteer host, and I'm here today at Wesley Community Services with Steve Smokler and Tracy Karras, and they are going to talk to us about, we've talked to them already about their their home delivered meal program and their specialized meal program mm -hmm. that uh, Tracy's in charge of, and their pet care program, which is amazing. And now we're going to talk to them about some of the other things that uh, Wesley Community Services does, uh, which is their home care, personal care, transportation, and Wesley Links. So where do you want to begin with that? What are some of your things well, you want to talk about? Well, we can talk about our specialized transportation. Okay. So uh, uh, we provide uh, senior transportation uh, in Hamilton County for seniors who need to get to the doctor or hospital or treatment center or lab or whatever. And uh, we do that six days a week. And we, uh, we do, uh, instead of curb to curb, we have door-to-door -door service. So we help the senior from their mm -hmm. apartment down the stairs, across the street, whatever is necessary, into the transport vehicle and then we take them from the transport vehicle up to their office, or the physician's office, mm. and, and we don't drop them off at the front, the front door or anything, so we make sure that they're accompanied. And our transportation service operates six days a week, and we start as early as four in the morning, three in the morning for dialysis clients or any other clients, and uh, we're very proud of our service. Uh, in 2003, we were recognized by the American Automobile Association Foundation as the outstanding senior transportation program in the United States, so that's wow. really great for Cincinnati. And uh, last year, we did 33,000 one-way uh, transports, wow. and so we're very proud of those activities. We have uh, approximately 25 vehicles. Half of them are wheelchair-accessible vans, and the remaining ones are automobiles, primarily Ford Focuses, and the reason we have those is that if you don't need a wheelchair and you're ambulatory, it's a lot more comfortable being in a car than in a van, mm -hmm. a wheelchair accessible van. So we operate those six days a week. And how do, how is it that this is paid for? Is this pay, uh, charged to anyone who uses it? or? Well, you can be a private pay client and contract uh, call us up and we can transport you. In addition to that, uh, we're a provider through the Council on Aging uh, of Southwestern Ohio, so we transport individuals through the Senior Services Levy Program and also individuals who are on um, the Medicaid Passport Program. So it's eligible for anyone who's a client of the Council on Aging. In addition to that, we also transport individuals with developmental disabilities to job sites. So we have a contract okay. with the uh, Hamilton County Board of Developmental Disabilities, and we have a significant number of people that we transport on a regular basis to their job site. And we do that because when people are going to their job, that's usually not the time that seniors are going to mm. their medical appointments. So we're able to use the same vehicle for multiple purposes and, and help us keep our costs low. Okay. If, um do you have to stay within, like the client has to live in Hamilton County? Yes. Does the doctor that you're transporting to have to be? No. We can, as long as the client is in Hamilton County, we can take them wherever the Council on Aging gives approval for. And if it's a private uh, transport that's arranged between us and the individual party, we'll be happy to take them wherever they want. Very good. Um, could you give us a phone number that folks could call if they uh, would like, you know, either the transportation, and we've talked about the meals program, the specialized meals program. Right. Is there a one central number for all of this that we can give? Yes, it's 513-661-2777. Uh, we have a website also, it's uh, wesleycs.org, and then uh, we've developed a specialized website for our diabetic home delivered meals program, and that's meals the number four u y o u dot org, and you can order our meals, our diabetic meals directly on the website, or you can call our number and talk to a, a person, and and they can take your order directly. 
Okay, so that number that you've given is a central number yes. for your meals, for your transportation, for your pet care, uh, for your specialized meals that you do. Yes. So that's one, one number for that. And right. uh, Margaret will also post that on that's this great. website for us uh, so that people will have that also in writing. Um, you also do some um, something, well, you do home care yes. program as well. So yes. tell us about that. Uh, we provide personal care services and homemaking services in uh, the majority of, uh, of Hamilton County and also in Butler County. And also in Butler County we provide what's called independent living assistance. So individuals who are, need help in check writing or bill paying or uh, applications to Medicaid or housing, we have a social worker up there who works with clients uh, to accomplish those goals. And in uh, Hamilton and Butler County, for our homemaking and personal care services, we have uh, nurses who supervise the, the care provided by our home care assistants who are all uh, bonded and safe and uh, uh, acceptable to go in it, into anybody's household. Yeah, that's a, that's a biggie because yeah. I think a lot of people are hesitant about bringing someone into their home. Yeah, I would so, be. Yeah. Right. So this is, everybody's been checked out. Yeah, everyone has gone through a criminal background check before they're hired. We also have uh, pre-employment uh, drug screening, and then we have uh, regularly scheduled uh, random drug screening of all of our employees. Not all agencies have that. And then, in addition, we're, all of our employees are commercially bonded so that, uh, God forbid, something happens the client doesn't have to worry about it. We're, as an agency, responsible. Very good. Now, are there waiting lists for any of your programs? And I mean the meals, the, the specialized meals. Uh, any anything have a waiting list? The personal care. As far as we know, not in uh, not in Ohio. We also provide meals on wheels in uh, the eight counties of northern Kentucky. And uh, to the best of my mo my knowledge, there is a limited waiting list on that. Okay. Uh, but it, because their funding obviously is different and comes through uh, the state of Kentucky. In Ohio, as far as I know, there's no waiting list right now for any of those services. And transportation, are you able to provide that for most of the folks who call? Oh, yeah, we, uh, we get, there's only a handful of people use it privately because it's, it's not inexpensive. Uh, most of our clients come through the Council on Aging, so they've already been uh, deemed eligible for the service, okay. and then we provide the service as a as one of uh, multiple providers that are allowed to do that through the council. Very good, very good. Well, let's uh, quickly talk about Wesley Links too. That's sure. a program that you guys. Oh, how did that uh, occur for you? And well, about ten years ago, uh, there were some news reports saying that the average age of a Cincinnati church congregation member was in their late 50s and so we all thought that it would be a good idea to work with the churches to help them better serve their congregation members so out of that those discussions we established Wesley Links and that's an educational network where uh, participating churches uh, get information at meetings that are held five times a year from specialists in the area of aging because even as a professional and when I was taking care of my own mother, I couldn't figure out what services, how to arrange services for her. So it's a, it's a, very, uh, it's a very difficult task and so we want to give the church and their lay leadership as many tools as possible by knowing what's going on. So we have this program five times a year and uh, right now in Hamilton County we have over 70 churches of all denominations who participate and meet on a regular basis and learn from these experts about how to better serve their senior congregation members or to help caregivers serve their parents better. Very good, very good. So uh, all this information that we've talked about uh, might be accessible <coughs> on your website? Yes, Is that it's, right? it's all okay. on the website. So you can learn more and they yes. can, our viewers can check in and, mm -hmm. and see all that you're providing, which is incredible. It's a, a great asset to the Cincinnati area, so thank you. Um, so I want to thank again our guests today, Tracy Karras and Steve Smokler, for being with us and sharing with us all that Wesley Community Services does for the Cincinnati, Ohio area. We're really appreciative. 
And um, I also want to thank our sponsors to this web website, Vitas Hospice, Hillebrand Home Health, Home Care by Blackstone, Family Bridges Home Care, Lifespan, and Bailey. And you can click on any one of those on this page and it will take you directly to their site. So I want to thank, uh, thank them as well. I'm Liz Tassone. I want to thank you for listening and always remember that caring matters.